Hey guys, today's theme is identity in Christ and I just wanted to drop a quick thought about that. You know, it's so easy to get wrapped up in what people tell you you need to be and what you feel like society is telling you. Sometimes you feel like you need to be tougher, you need to be smarter, you need to be prettier, you need to be better. And it starts to leave you callous on the outside. And no one's seeing how you feel on the inside, how lost and broken you are. And the more that you believe what society and people tell you, the more lost and broken you become. So the question is, how do we how do we fix that? How do we empty us of us and fill our hearts with our identity in Christ? You pray. You seek him out in his word. You listen. Uh, you, found, you find Christian accountability. You find Christian community. And the more that we do discipline ourselves to stay quiet and just listen to what he has to say through his word, through prayer, guys, the more that we're going to be filled up with him and the more we're going to find our identity in him. So Paul says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, that in him, in Christ, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, and because of his grace, the ability to find our identity in him. And verse 11 says, in him, also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. And through the gospel of our salvation, we are marked by the seal. We are chosen. First Peter says we are chosen. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and God's special possession. And I hope that encourages you today as you're going through your day, as you're going through life. Just remember you are God's chosen special possession and that he loves you. Let's pray. God, thank you for that incredible reminder today that we are your special chosen children, God. We are a royal priesthood and you call us that, God. I ask that you keep us free from distractions, that you keep our eyes and our ears on constant watch, God, from the enemy, the way the enemy tears us down, God, the way the enemy feeds us lies, God. I ask that you just speak life into us, God, and remind us who you have chosen us to be. So we thank you, God. We worship you and we love you for you're a God of, of truth, a God of faithfulness, and a God of promise. I ask that we lean on that and we rest on that, God. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen.